Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we're going to be talking about the 2023 romance releases I am super excited for. These are not all of the romances that are going to be out in 2023 that I'm excited for. I mainly read indie romances, and a lot of the time, some authors just like Beyonce like a book and just like, here you go <laughs> when it comes to indie romances, or they don't talk about them as being released until a month before it releases. So some of my favorite authors may be releasing a book in 2023 that I just don't know about yet. So these are all the ones that I currently know about in December of 2022 that are going to be released in 2023. And again, these are my most anticipated releases. They may not be yours. Um, so these are just some authors that I love that are coming out with books in 2023. First, I'm gonna talk about the books that are releasing in 2023 that have no release date specifically, just that they're coming out in 2023. There's no specific date yet on Goodreads or their webpage or anything like that. Like there's no release date for them. And then we're gonna be going into the releases that have a definitive date throughout the year. First, I have Darn It All by Evie Mitchell. And I believe also the fourth book in the series, whenever that one comes out, will also be coming out in 2023. This is her third book in her All Access series, which is a series that I've been really loving. The first one was um, Not My Type, if you've read that one. And then I really loved Love Flush, which was great. That one had all sorts of colitis representation in it. I've been really wanting to read this one because our heroine is like a fashion designer. So I think that's so cool. I don't think I've ever read a romance where we're dealing with a fashion designer. There's not a summary yet on Goodreads. It's gonna happen for a lot of these books. There's not gonna be a summary that I'm gonna tell you, but this one I'm really excited for. This was supposed to come out in 2022, but Evie ended up pushing her release back um, due to some things. So totally understand, but I'm totally looking forward to this one. Look how cute the cover is. I think we have three books by Chloe Lisa coming out in 2023 okay um i believe the next two bergman brothers bergman brother books are coming out so we have if only you which is number six and we have only and forever which is number seven and then i do believe the next book to two wrongs make a right is also coming out in 2023 so i do actually have a date for better hate than never i just looked that up this is the second book to two wrongs make a right which i'm about to start reading i'm so excited to start reading that anyway um that one comes out on december 5th of 2023 which is the day after my birthday so that's going to be a great belated birthday present i'm so excited but yeah chloe visa is going to be coming out hopefully with a bunch of books I really want those Bergman Brother books to come out. Like, I'm so excited. I really loved Finding Jean Kelly in 2022 by Tori Jean. And I believe she's coming out with another one in December. I'm filming this in, in December currently. Um, she's, she's coming out with another one very soon, like a couple of days, which is like a Christmas romance. So her third book, which is called Dukes and Deeks, is coming out sometime in 2023. I don't know when that is, but I just love Tori Jean. And she makes sure to have like endo rep, so endometriosis rep, I believe in like all of her books, I think. I know it's going to be in her first two. And so I don't know if there's rep in this one. I hope there is because I loved her rep so much. Uh, this is Own Voices rep with um, endometriosis. And um, I've just seen like her Instagram hyping about this book specifically. I am so excited. And I just love Tori Jean's writing. And I feel like she's going to be like a favorite all-time author for me. We, of course, don't know when the next Crescent City book by Sarah G. Mass is coming out. People are saying it's coming out in 2023. Some people are saying it's coming out in 2024. I don't know, Goodreads, it says 2023. It says January 1st, 2023, but that's not happening. <laughs> so Goodreads does lie, okay? It does lie. Anyway, so we'll see when this one comes out. I am crossing my fingers and hoping it's 2023. And then I've also been waiting on um, Tolly Hibbert's new Skybriar series to come out. This one is also said to come out in 2023 at some point. We'll see when this happens. I just love Tolly Hibbert and anything that she writes. And so a new series by her, I'm always excited for it. So next we're going to be going into all of the books that I know that have a definitive date of release in 2023. On January 3rd is Tolly Hibbert's other new book, which is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute, which is, I believe, the only young adult book that I have on this list. I'm only wanting to read a young adult book because it's written by Tolly Hibbert. It's her first YA book and I'm so excited for her. Look how cute this cover is. Okay, so I think this is an ex-best friend to lovers romance but YA obviously. <laughs> so this is about Bradley and he lives like a perfect life. He's a star football player. He comes out top in all of his classes. He manages his OCD very well except he's not doing so great in one of his classes that he shares with his ex-best friend Celine. So Celine in here is a conspiracy theory 
person. She's obsessed with conspiracy theories, which is so fun to me. Oh, and so she even has like a social media following when she like talks about her conspiracy theories like UFOs <laughs> and holiday overconsumption, but she is not considered popular enough to like sit at like the popular kids table at school. And so Celine thinks that's the reason why Bradley like dumped her as a friend years ago um, because she was not in the it crowd. But then I think Celine signs up for a survival course in the woods and she's very surprised that Bradley also signs up for this course and I think they're like paired together to win this grand prize um so this sounds just really fun I believe they're camping based on the cover so I'm really excited for this on January 24th we have Beguiling Her Enemy Warrior by Lucy Morris I love Lucy Morris if you're wanting to read historical romance with Vikings in them Lucy Morris is the girl to check out. She is great and amazing. I love her writing. I love all the research she's done. Like her Vikings are fantastic. I love her Viking romances. So I am so excited for this. I do have to catch up with this series though. So hopefully by the time that book three comes out, I will have been caught up in her series. And I believe this is a kidnapping romance. And the Viking in this situation is Helga. And she is a healer. And she gets kidnapped by Lord Rhys, who is a Welsh prince intent on revenge against her family. I love a kidnapping romance. I love rivaling families. I love Vikings. I love heal. Like, give me all of that, please. I'm so excited for this. January 31st is Our Jaws Resonance by Ruby Dixon. This is the first book in her Ice Planet Clones series. Our Jaws book and a whole new series is starting from Ruby in this world on this planet. I am so excited for this. On January 31st, we have Whispers of You by Catherine Cowles, her new book in the Lost and Found series, her first book in it. I don't know anything about this book. I don't want to read the summary for this. I want to go into this book blind. I really wanted to check out more Catherine Cowles books after reading the Tattered and Torn series. And I don't know if I want to go read her backlist yet, just because I feel like those have more of a suspense element to it. And maybe in this new series, the romance trumps the suspense because that's more my vibe, you know? But I am very, very, very excited to check out more Catherine Cowles. I really, really, really loved her writing in the Tatter and Torn series, so I hopefully will love this one. On February 7th, we have Curled Up with an Earl by Amy Rose Bennett, which is her second book to the Byronic Book Club, which I read, what's the title of the book? I can't remember, it's over there somewhere. I can't remember the title of it, but I read book one earlier this year as a recommendation from Rachel, from Rachel Reason Sings. Thank you so much, Rachel. Anyway, book two comes out in February and I am so excited. We've met the heroine in book one. Okay, all I'm gonna do for this is read the quote that is from the book on the top of the summary, cause man, is it good, ready? Ever since we first met, I've imagined what it would be like to be in your arms, to feel your lips upon mine. I'm 28 years old, a shy and oftentimes awkward spinster with singular scientific interests and I've never been kissed, not once in fact. I never thought I would ever want to be kissed, but then I met you and I do want to do this very much. <laughs> this is apparently the romance between Lucy and Will. You've met Lucy in book one. I just really loved Amy Rose Bennett's writing. This one is one that I'm very much looking forward to. On March 7th, we have Captured by the Orc General by Charlotte Swan. This one doesn't have like a full cover yet, but uh, uh, Charlie Swan, <laughs> Charlie Swan on Instagram, not Instagram, whoa, TikTok. I love her TikTok so much and I read her debut novel earlier this year in 2022. I really liked it. And so this is the next book in that series and it's gonna be about an orc. And I already know it's gonna be between an orc and this heroine that we met in book one. So I I hope I love this because I, just, I love orc romances. On March 30th, we have Fractured Souls by Neva Altaj, which is her sixth book in the Perfectly Imperfect series. I believe she's taking a break from the series right now. Um, Her fifth book, came out in November, I'm pretty sure. And she's taken like, what, like a four month long break before book six comes out. So I don't know what she's doing in that time. I secretly think that she's like a popular author or something, like another popular author, like this is her pen name or something or something else. And maybe she's writing a different book or something. I don't know, I have my suspicions. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so she's taking a long break. And so this one does not come out till March 30th. So there's a very big gap between these releases, which is very unique because Books one through five like came out like that, like once a month. And so I'm really excited for this. This is her Mafia romance series, chocked full of disability and mental health representation. On April 11th, we have Lassiter by J.R. Ward. Y'all, this is book number 21 in the Black Tiger Brotherhood series. 
I love this series. We have a shelf down there that is just entirely BDB. I love this series and I specifically love Lassiter. He is the angel in this series. I don't, please don't read this as a standalone, by the way. This is book number 21, y'all, please. Anyway, <laughs> Lassiter is this angel who is just hilarious. I love him. I've been waiting for his romance. I've always wondered why J.R. Ward has not written him a romance yet. And this is his romance story I'm so excited for. Like I'm counting down the days for this book. On April 20th, we have Highest Bitter by Sarah Kate. This is her fifth book in the Salacious Players Club series. She has another one coming out that I'm gonna mention later on in the video that's coming out also in 2023. Um, I've only read book one in this series, but I plan to catch up in all these Salacious Players Club books before this one comes out. I have all of them on the shelf behind me. Um, that are currently out before that are currently out so um, I'm excited because apparently book five and book six were not supposed to like be a thing but she really wanted to write more in this series and so these came about and I hopefully love them as well. Next I have a Rook that is coming out on June 8th by Jillian Graves. This is her second book in the Romancing His Stone series. Um, first one I believe is Titan. I haven't read Titan but I've read Blood Moon by uh, Jillian Graves. Loved it. So good. So I need to go back and read Titan and then I'll be ready whenever Rook comes out. It's a gargoyle monster romance. This one does not have a cover yet, obviously, um, but I really just love Jillian Graves. Like she's an amazing TikToker, author, writer. I really loved Blood Moon. So I need to read Titan before I read Rook. Next is The Midsummer Bride by Katie Wilde. This is her fourth fourth book in the Deadland series. It comes out on July 31st. This is a barbarian romance with a queen, a barbarian and a queen apparently. And I just love this series. This is a fantasy romance series. It is so underhyped that I just really love. Katie Wilde is also really close friends with Ruby Dixon. I'm pretty sure like they help each other make covers for their books and everything. Like there is like a rumor going around that they people think that Katie and Ruby are the same person. I don't know. I don't know y'all, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm really looking forward to Katie Wilde's release. She writes a lot of fun, short fantasy romance books. So hopefully I love this one as well. On September 8th, we have Griffins and Gains by Ashley Bennett, her third book in the Leviathan Fitness series. Ashley Bennett is also coming out with, I think two other books in 2023. I don't know what those books are yet. I believe one of them is like a historical romance monster one that I am so looking forward to. Uh, but this one is the third book in her Leviathan Leviathan Fitness series, which is a series that I have been adoring. Just a monster romance series between humans and monsters. They all like meet at this gym for monsters. It's so cool. And so I just love Ashley Bennett too as an author. I We talk on Instagram a lot and I just I really love her. And so I'm really looking forward to this one. And I know who this book is about. And I loved him in the other books in the series. On October 12th, we have Madame. Is it Madame? 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 I don't know how Sarah Kate wants us to pronounce it, but this is book number six in the uh, Salacious Players Club series. It's going to be coming out. I believe I know who this one's about based off of a character who's in book one. So I, I need, I need this one now. <laughs> On November 7th, we have Iris Kelly Doesn't Date by Ashley Herring Blake. There's no cover yet, but I'm so excited for this cover because the artist for these covers, amazing. Apparently this is a fake relationship, one night stand to more romance. You've met Iris in the previous books and I believe this is her romance with a woman named Stevie and they get in a fake relationship. I love Ashley Herring Blake's romances so counting down to the days to this one honestly and it doesn't come out till November. So sad. And then lastly on November 28th I have A Dance of Smoke and Steel by Mila Vane. This is her third book in A Gathering of Dragons series which is her fantasy romance series. I don't want to know anything about this book. I'm not gonna read the summary for this one. I love Mila Vane's fantasy romances. If you have not read her fantasy romances, get on it because they're so good. Um, like the fantasy and the romance aspect are a perfect blend in her books. Like it is perfection. This one does not come out till the end of November. And I am so sad because I want it now. We've been waiting for this book, I feel like for two years. And um, Mila Vane is definitely making us wait. So this one is going to be fantastic. Anyways, there you have it. Those are some of my 2023 anticipated releases. Please let me know down below what books you are anticipating in 2023, whether it be on this list or other books that are not on this list. Let me know if you know any of any romance releases you think I should know about. Leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to know. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me the, what emoji are we gonna do today? We're gonna be doing the um, bird emoji, any bird emoji. <laughs> Cause I thought of Griffins and Gaines. Griffin as a bird. Anyway, any bird related emoji in the comment section down below. 
Anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye, y'all.